Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And today I have kind of an assorted fragrance first impressions. I have three decants that I received this month from my Royalty Sense fragrance subscription. They're all either like designer or celebrity fragrances. I also have a sample from a philosophy order I recently made and I blind bought two perfumes from Target's Mix Bar line. So there's quite a bit here, but I'm excited to do this first impressions on camera. So if you wanna hear about all these fragrances I'm gonna to try today, please keep on watching. So the first fragrance I'm gonna try is the sample I got from Philosophy, and that is this sample of Amazing Grace Bergamot. So I recently placed an order on philosophy.com they were having a sale um, and I was able to get a full size bottle of fresh cream warm cashmere for a pretty affordable price. That perfume's already very affordable, got it for an even better price. So I was very happy about that. Um, I tested that perfume in Ulta, fell in love, thought it was a very cozy, nice, warm kind of fragrance. So anyways, with my order, I got this sample in the mail and I was like, I like bergamot, so let's try it. So this fragrance is considered a floral fragrance. It's for women. It was launched in 2019 and it has notes of bergamot, orange blossom, musk, lily of the valley. I'm not normally a big fan of florals, but I do like bergamot. So let's give this one a try and see what I think. This to me smells like a fragrance I had when I was younger. It was a body splash from Bath and Body Works. They had a collaboration with American Girl. Um, they're the ones that have, like make the American Girl dolls, which I had a few of them growing up. And there was this one fragrance that was like florally and a little bit citrusy. And I used to spray it on myself like every day. And this to me smells exactly like that. Is it a pleasant scent? Yes. There's definitely that bergamot touch there that gives it a little bit of citrus, but there's definitely a lot of like sweet florals. So it's pleasant. It's just not personally my vibe. Because of the notes in this fragrance, I would say solidly spring, summer. I believe this is also an eau de toilette, so it might not last very long on the skin. Again, not sure of longevity. This is just a first impressions video. But yeah, I think it's pleasant. Am I in love? No. Do I think it's kind of basic? Yeah, but I do think it's pleasant. Personally, I don't think I'm gonna try this on my skin just because I'm not like, oh my goodness, I need to try this, I'm in love. You know, as someone who is getting into fragrances and likes to, you know, collect fragrances and wear my fragrances and enjoy them, I only want fragrances in my collection that I'm truly in love with. And this is just not that for me, but I do think it is very pleasant. So Philosophy Amazing Grace Bergamot, I think it's nice. It's a little bit basic, but it's just a solid bergamot leaning flor sweet floral for the spring and the summertime. So next up, I wanna talk about my three fragrance decants from Royalty Scents. And first I'm gonna talk about this one. So this is a decant of Marc da Jacobs Daisy Dream. Marc da Jacobs Daisy Dream, it's kind of hard to say. So Daisy has like a million and one flankers. So this is one of the flankers of Daisy, but you know, I've tried Daisy, it's not for me, it's just not my vibe. But I thought this one could be interesting because it's like a fruity floral kind of Daisy flanker. Seems interesting. And it's been around for a while. So Daisy Dream was launched in 2014. It's a fragrance for women. We have top notes of blackberry, pear, and grapefruit, which sounds delicious. I love some berry. I love pear. I love grapefruit. We have mid notes of wisteria, lychee, jasmine. I love a good lychee note. And we have base notes of musk, coconut, and white wood. Again, I love coconut. So I thought this could be a really nice fragrance, maybe for spring and summer, a very fruity, like slightly floral leaning fragrance. So let's give it a try. Yeah, you definitely smell the lychee in here. That pops out very quickly. There's a little bit of powderiness, which I believe is coming from that musk. Could also be coming from the coconut. Sometimes coconut can lean a little bit powdery instead of like tropical or like gourmand. I think this is more of a powdery coconut. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of florals in here. Like that jasmine is really a heavy hitter in here. Because of how heavy the jasmine is, I have a feeling this would give me a headache. A lot of white florals can give me a headache very easily. It's just me, I don't know why I'm so sensitive to white florals, but I just am. So because of that, because it's so, so heavy on the jasmine and the wisteria, I just don't think this fragrance is for me. I feel like it would give me a headache. 
It's just not my vibe. I do like the fruity touches. Those florals though are a bit too much. So Daisy Dream, sadly, not a fragrance for me, but I don't think it's a bad fragrance by any means. It's just, I'm sensitive to white florals sometimes. So next up, I have this decant also from Royalty Scents. And this is a decant of Ariana Grande, God is a Woman. So this is actually not gonna be a first impression for this fragrance. I have tried God is a Woman at Ulta. Um, I didn't spray it on my skin, I just sprayed it on a card and I really liked how it smelled. So I wanna give this another try, give it some time at home just to really see what I think. So this is like a fruity and sweet kind of perfume. It's considered an amber floral. It was launched in 2021. And a lot of these notes just sound like something I like. So it has top notes of pear and ambrette, also known as musk mellow. We have mid notes of orish and turkis rose, base notes of Madagascar vanilla sandalwood. The mid notes don't really sound like a me kind of thing. Not a rose fan, but all the other notes seem promising. I love a good pear note in fragrances. So again, let's give this one a try. I'm pretty hopeful. Oh, the pear, the pear just like hits you. It's such a sparkling, fizzy pear. It's almost like a pear and like champagne. Mmm, I love the pear. You definitely smell something that's a little bit musky and sweet. The vanilla's coming out. I'm sure as this dries down, that really strong pear note is going to fade a bit more into the background and you're gonna get more of that vanilla, musky, sandalwoody kind of vibe from this. But yeah, that, that sparkling champagne pear kind of vibe gives this a very like spring summer feeling to this. The pear in here almost reminds me of pear ink from Juliet Has a Gun, which I absolutely love. That fragrance has horrible longevity unless you really spray it heavily on your clothing, but that fragrance is like the best fresh pear scent ever. I want a full size bottle of it. I've purchased like two sample size, like two travel size bottles and I'm obsessed. So I need that one in my life, but yeah. The more this is drying down, the less that sparkly pear is like hitting you in the face and the more you're just getting that like sweet musky woodiness a little bit. But the sweet pear is definitely still there. I think this one's very pleasant. I really enjoy a lot of Ariana Grande's fragrances. I currently have Ari, I have R.E.M. and now I'm gonna have God as a Woman and I've also tried Cloud, which I wasn't a fan of Cloud. Um, and I think I've, I've tried another one. I don't know. I like Ariana Grande's fragrances basically. Like I think she's a good celebrity set line. So yeah, I think this could be a really nice like spring summer kind of fragrance. I mean, even fall winter to be honest, it's not so like fresh pear that I think it would not work for fall winter. Like it almost in that sense reminds me of, um, uh, what's it called? La Belle by John Paul Gaultier, because that fragrance has a very strong pear note, but it's like sweet and like just fun and it has that fruitiness and has that vanilla that really hits you. And for that reason, I feel like it's not too gourmand and heavy for spring, summer, but it's also not too light and fruity for fall, winter. So I almost see this falling into that same category. Am I saying they smell the same? No. But I think it's because of that pear vibe with that little bit of sweet vanilla that it gives me that. So yeah, I like this one. I wanna try that one on my skin. I'm not surprised by that since I've smelled it in Ulta once. So God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. I think it's a winner thus far, but of course I will try it on my skin and then I will let you all know uh, during my monthly review roundup whether or not I like it and what I really think of the fragrance. So my last Royalty Sense decant, then we'll move on to the mixed bar stuff. We have Juicy Couture Hollywood Royal. I have been enjoying some Juicy Couture fragrances recently. Like I purchased a full size bottle of um, Juicy Couture um, uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I think that's what it's called. And I really enjoy that fragrance. So yeah, Juicy Couture actually has some like nice fragrances. This is like a sweet, fruity, white floral. It's considered a floral, floral fruity gourmand. Blah, blah, blah. Floral, fruity gourmand. It was launched in 2015. It's considered a fragrance for women, but of course, wear what you want, when you want, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. Um, we have top notes of candy, apple, pear, and pomelo. Mid notes of jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, base notes of marshmallow, vanilla, cashmere, wood, and musk. 
Marshmallow, vanilla, speaking my language. Those fruity top notes, speaking my language. The white florals in the mid, not so much speaking my language, but we'll see what I think here. Mmm. This smells kind of cheap to me. This definitely smells like a inexpensive fragrance. Mm-mm. Those white florals are really bothering me. Just like I smelled, I, I, I got those immediately. Did not get those fruity juiciness that I really wanted on the top. Did not get that like soft, pillowy, just sticky marshmallow vanilla vibe. This to me is straight white florals. Ugh, I cannot stand that. It's already making my head hurt a little bit, so I really know that one's not for me. That one is, uh, yeah, too much white florals for me. Sorry I could not give you a better review, but I don't want to have a headache today. All right, and the part of the video I'm really excited about, I blind bought two fragrances from Mix Bar. I have Coconut Palm as well as Whipped Almond. Whipped Almond is a new release. Coconut Palm, not so much a new release. I also really want to try their Blackberry fragrance, but maybe that's one I get in the future. Um, I have sniffed some of their fragrances. Like, I think it's like a bourbon vanilla one they have. I'm not really a fan of that one. That one was just not my vibe, not my kind of vanilla that I enjoy. But yeah, I've heard really good reviews about both of these, so I wanted to give them a try. So Coconut Palm. So here's the box, and then I will show you the bottle. The bottles pretty much look the same for all the fragrances. So it's like a frosted glass. It says, you know, the name on the top, like on, it says the name on the bottle on the front. It says mix bar on the top. And then you have that lid, which is a very cheap plastic. And then you have your little sprayer right there. So coconut palm is considered a unisex fragrance. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just my uh, phone decided not to work. Okay. So it's a unisex fragrance. It's considered a floral fruity gourmand. It was launched last year in 2021. And here are the notes. Coconut, vanilla, sandalwood, woody notes, musk, salt, seaweed. This sounds like a very beachy kind of coconut. I enjoy a beachy coconut. I have a few beachy coconuts in my collection. And what's one more beachy coconut, you know? So let's give this one a try. I'm personally very excited. That sprayer is very intense. Dang. <laughs> That sprayer is like, whoop, like just in a straight line, not really a spready kind of sprayer. It's more like a stream kind of sprayer. Oh yeah. Very beachy, almost sunscreeny coconut. Definitely smells like you're at the beach. You, you smell the salt and the seaweed. You have some like sunscreen on. Mm. You definitely get that vanilla. Yeah, this is gonna be a really good one for the spring and the summertime, especially the summertime. I could see you bringing this on vacation, like a beach vacation or a lake house, like a long weekend vacation. This is definitely a daytime fragrance for me, not nighttime, just because of how like beachy sunscreeny it is. Just makes me think like the heat of the day, like 12 noon when the sun is really like beating down on you, it's like a 90 degree day. This would be perfect for that. Yeah, I really enjoy that one. It's a very beachy coconut, which is what I expected, but I like it, coconut palm. This was a good blind buy, I'm very happy with it. And last but not least, we have Whipped Almond from Mix Bar. Again, a blind buy, but these perfumes are pretty cheap. I think they retail for like less than $20. So again, you have a similar bottle. It's like the same bottle, except this one's a bit more like rosy brownie toned instead of like that just like white frosted glass so yeah whipped almond this is a new one i've heard good things i love a good almond note so i'm really excited to try it so let's look at the notes this is a fragrance for women and men it's brand spanking new and it only has four notes almond milk sandalwood iris flower so this to me sounds like it's going to be a very lactonic powdery kind of almond. Sounds like it's up my vibe, so let's try it. That sprayer was a little bit easier to work with. <laughs> I think coconut, my, co my bottle of coconut palm was just like, pfft. this one was definitely easier to work with. Yeah, this is a very lactonic almond. If you like, like marzipan, which is like an almondy, like sweet kind of paste, I think you'll like this. 
This is pleasant. Personally, I don't wear fragrances like this in the summertime because I can find it getting really cloying just because of how like sweet milky almond it is. But I could find this working in the fall, in the winter, even in the spring, on like a little bit of a cooler spring day. Once it hits like 80 degrees though, I don't think I'd wear this. But yeah, it's really pleasant. I could definitely see this as a good like layering scent. Like if you have a fragrance and you want to add a bit more of a powdery almond kind of vibe to it, this could really work well for you. Even same with coconut palm. Like I think these fragrances are meant to be used as like layering scents if you want to. So coconut palm, if you have a fragrance that you want to wear in the summertime, you want to give it more of that beachy coconutty vibe, you could definitely layer that. So I think this is a good one for layering too. Yeah, it's nice. It's just a nice, like, milky almond kind of fragrance. It's like almond whipped cream almost. And so I think it's really nice. The name is very accurate. Um, I'm also definitely going to try that one on my skin. So yeah, the blind buys were a success. I'm really, really happy about that. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. We had like a 50-50 hit rate today. So three scents did not work. Three scents did work. I'm going to try them on my skin and of course let you know um, during my monthly review roundup what I think. But yeah, I'm really happy with all like with all the ones that worked out for me and I just really enjoy doing these fragrance first impressions videos. So if you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me know what kinds of content you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I post two to three videos per week, depending on my schedule, you know all that. And if you have anything to comment down below, any comments or thoughts on any of these fragrances, any fragrance recommendations, any questions, whatever, or you just wanna talk, comment. I love to have conversations with you all and chat with you all about things that I love. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and thank you for spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.